Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. I'm so excited to help you learn how to make these cupcake wrappers today in case you want to make some for Halloween that's coming up or any other holiday actually. So I'm going to show you how to take the basic cup wrapper, cupcake wrapper, and change it into anything you'd like. So the first thing you're going to do is just, of course, open up Cricut Design Space and then come over here to upload on the lower left hand corner. <clears throat> Click on, nope. Not going to do that. I'm sorry. We're going to come over here to images. And the first thing I'm going to do is come up here to the very top where it says search and I'm going to type in cupcake wrapper. <clears throat> okay. And the one I happen to use came up first right here. So I'm just going to click on that to enter it. And notice that that puts it right down here at the very bottom, which means I'm going to put that onto my virtual mat when I say insert images. I can click on it and get rid of it if I want to. Notice that X that comes out. If I decide I don't want it like that, it's gone. But I actually do want it, so I'm going to click on it again. And again, it gets put down here in this trough. So let's see, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to come up here where the search area is again and I'm going to type in Halloween because I want to find those other images that I use and I happen to know they're way down here at the bottom because <clears throat> I just remember where I found them so one was a black cat let's see how far down did I go really far keep going <laughs> I think I actually gave you the numbers for them, but if I did it, you can grab them now if you want to make them now. So I'm still coming down. I'm getting close now. Not quite there yet, though. So I'm really scroll through a lot of these. Okay, here I am. So the one that I got was this witch's hat. And if you need the number, it's MC2B82. 5B. I'm going to click on that and notice that puts it down here in this little trough because I do want to add that to my mix of what I'm going to insert. I also want to get this little witch right here and she is MC2B828C and I'm going to go back to the picture of her, click on it and I've inserted it down here into this trough. Now I just remembered something, the little cat that I used was further up here, I saw him earlier, <clears throat> so I need to grab him, that's the one I used I believe, and he, I clicked on him already and put him down here, now I can tell you that he is number MCB6CBF1. So I have all four images that I need down here and I'm going to insert them. <clears throat> Alright, now what I need to do is I need to look back at my image, so I guess I will look on my phone. I don't think I saved it here. Nope, unfortunately I did not. So notice I went here to my uploads and I look there. Now to get back to where I want to be, all I have to do is click on the word canvas up here. And that takes me back to where I wanted to be. So I am going to look this up on my phone. You can look it up in your Patreon um, link that I gave you. Yeah, let's see. Okay. So what I wanted to do with this is, well, maybe I really should get one. Let me, let's see, what can I do? I'll just leave it like this. You'll see that it's going to turn out exactly the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move these guys over and I'm going to duplicate the cupcake wrapper in case I make a mistake and I'll have an extra. So I'm going to duplicate it and just move this one off to the side because I don't need it right now. Alright, <clears throat> so the one I'm going to use is this one and the first thing I want to do is get rid of all of the stuff on this. Now of course I could go through here and contour out each one of these pieces individually. However, if I click on the contour button like I said, I could just go ahead and click each one of these to get rid of them. Or what I could do is come over here to where it says hide all contours, hide them all. So if we look, let's look and see what we're left with. 
we're just left with this part of the cu cupcake wrapper, but there's a few things that we need, like the little slit that was right here. So I'm going to go back to the contour button. Has the same image right here. And I want to put this little slit right back in so that it will be cut out because this little part on the right of this picture fits into that little part. So I'm going to put it back in and that's all I need right there. Now you'll remember, I believe I changed my color to green so I could just make it any green. And now I can bring back over this guy so we can compare what's happening. So on my example, what I wanted to do, let's look at this. I'll need to bring over these guys now. I'm just grab all of them at one time by um, dragging a box around them. And let's see, on the left-hand side of my cupcake wrapper, I have the cat. Oops, so he's going behind. So I assume everything's going to go behind the cupcake wrapper. So I'm just going to right click on it and say send to the back and now everything should stay up front. So I had the cat, then I had the witch, then I had the hat. Just like that. Alright, so obviously they need to be resized. So I'll resize the hat down so it will fit. Click on the witch. Then I can grab this double-headed arrow here and drag it in to make her smaller to fit. And let's see. All right, the other thing that I did do was I went ahead and made these twirled a little bit so they fit better on here. So all I have to do is click on the cat and then this little rotate button allows me to rotate him so he fits perfectly on there, just like that. In the hat, I can do the same thing. Grab this little um, circular arrow here and drag this around so it fits perfect like that. Okay, so far so good, except for that we don't want these little pieces to actually be black pieces on top. We want them to cut out of the wrapper. Just like this had pieces cut out. You can see the green behind. So we'll do those individually. I'll do the cat first, click on the cat, hold down my shift key, and click on the wrapper, and then say slice. Okay, that allowed me to bring this cat out. He's gone totally. And you're wondering, well, what happened to those other things? <clears throat> well, whenever you slice, it brings the object to the top layer. So all I have to do now is to click on the green wrapper again, right click, and say, send to the back and you'll see there your image is still here. So let's see, the next thing I'm going to do is the witch. I'll just click on her, hold down my shift key, click on the green cupcake wrapper, and just say slice. And again that sliced her right out so I see the background through here, but where in the world did my final object go, the hat? Well, as I said, when you slice something, it brings this wrapper to the top. You see the, the uh, witches are over here on the top as well as the wrapper. And then under those other things is the hat. So I could either, if I wanted to, I could drag this hat right up to the top actually like that, putting it on the top layer, or I can undo that and I can just right click on the wrapper and say send to the back. So there we go. So now you probably know the next thing I have to do. Yep, I have to right cl or click on that hat, hold down my shift key, click on the wrapper and say slice. I can slice these right out. Perfect. Now we don't need any of these pieces over here, so I can just draw a big box around them and hit the X to delete them. So, so far, so good. Now, if you remember in the image that I sent to you, I also put little stars in every other one of these little humps. <laughs> so I'm going to come over here to the shape tool, get a star. Thought I clicked on it. Oh. 
must be up here in the upper lip. I made two of them accidentally already. I'll get rid of one of them. <clears throat> and I'm going to bring him over here. I'm going to size him down by grabbing these arrows again. And I'll just bring him right over here. He's still too big. It's up to like that. Okay, that's perfect, right like that. So while he is selected, I'm going to hold down my shift key and select the green and say slice. Now, ordinarily, I would take this one off and delete it, but I'm going to move it over to the next one. Not the very next one, but I skipped one in between. And this one I can delete. So now I can click this guy, hold down the shift, get the green, and slice down here in the lower right-hand corner. So again, I'll move this guy over to delete this piece. Hold down that click on the star, hold down my shift key, grab the green, slice. Bring him over to, ooh, he's close to the witch's head. Delete this one. Click on this, hold down the shift key and the green and slice. Okay, move this over to, move this one out, delete it. Grab the star, shift, green, slice, move it over to, delete this one, star, shift key, green, slice. And I did this differently than what I had done before. <clears throat> so I need to fix this for you so it's exactly the same. So I'm going to bring this guy over here. Hold on my shift key, get the green and slice. Okay, move this out. So this was the one that was supposed to be done. So that's selected. Hold down my shift, get the green. So this is good that I made an error here because I can show you <clears throat> how to fix it. Let me get rid of this green one and this green one. So you'll remember on the sample one, let's say I did this one, this one was not cut out. This one was. So I'm going to have to come down here, cut this one out. I'll show you how I'm going to fix this. Not all is lost. So that star selected, hold down my shift key, get the green, and slice. So you may be looking at this and thinking, but Patty Ann, you got too many, too many stars. That's not the way your sample was. And you're right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to contour out the ones I accidentally cut out that I didn't want to. So I can click on this image and click on contour. And I can look here and see, I wanted this one cut out. I wanted to skip one. I wanted this one cut out. Skip one so I don't want that one cut out. That one should be cut. This one should be not cut. One, two, three, four. This one should not be cut. All right, now let's take a look. All right, that is the way it looked. <clears throat> so it was one skip, one skip, one. And then I skipped four. One, two, three, four, because I was afraid of her hat. And then I did one skip, one skip, one. Okay, so it's like a dance. All right, so the other thing that I did was I put some moons in here. One here and one here, because I thought it looked a little bit, uh, like it was missing something. To, the make, to make the moon... All I did was come over here to the shape tool and get a circle. Should be up here. Yep, there it is. And then I'm going to duplicate that circle. Actually, I think I'll make it smaller first. And now I'm going to duplicate it and I'll make this one. Well, I can just put this one right on top of that one. Let me make it a different color so you can see a little bit better. Okay, there we go. So one's on top of the other. And when I slice, I'm just going to be left with this bottom part right here. So I can make this moon however big I want it to be. Say I want it to be about like that. So now all I have to do is select both of these items, come down here and say slice. So that helps me to get rid of, now there's a piece I could use if I wanted, or this piece, whichever one you like. I'll make it a little smaller, bring it over here. And maybe tilt it a little bit like that. 
And now if I want to, I can duplicate this one and I can come up here to where it says flip, flip horizontal if I wanted to go the other way like that. I don't know that I did it that way on my sample. Let me look back. I think I both had them going the same way. Nope, I did it like this. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is to go ahead and slice these out. So I'm going to click on that one, which it's already selected. Hold down my shift key and get the green, the whole wrapper, and then say slice. So I can bring this over, bring this over. And where did the other one go? Well, we know now if I right click on the green, we know it's hidden behind there. I can just right click and say send to the back. There's my other moon. So I can click on it to highlight it, hold down my shift key, click on the green and say slice. And so there you have a really, really cute wrapper for Halloween. Maybe you want it to be orange for Halloween. <clears throat> and of course you can make it any color you want to and whatever color you put on your mat will be what it is. So I can delete these. And I can delete this one. Okay, so that's it. That's how easy it is to make the cupcake wrapper. I hope you, that you enjoy making them, and I hope actually that you'll use this for maybe making wrappers for Christmas or Thanksgiving or New Year's, anything like that. Just find little images that you can slice out, and you can make them really, really cute. So again, thanks for joining me for this month's challenge, and I'll have another challenge for you in this month of October. So see you again soon. Bye-bye.